In this quick After Effects tips video, we're gonna talk about four techniques to creating promo videos. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. We're on a roll with these four or five tips videos. So in this video, we're gonna talk about creating motion graphic promos, usually working with your video and you can overlay graphics and titles. And it doesn't have to be like a 30 second promo. It could just be like two slides with a title or just even one slide. So this video is a quick video. So let's jump into it and talk about these four tips to create amazing promos. In our first tip, we're gonna talk about the design aspect of your promo video with overlay assets. All right, so here we are in After Effects and we already have our video laid out. Of course, you can use an image, it doesn't matter. So the first thing we're gonna do is create our overlay assets so we can start putting graphics and titles on top of this. So what we're gonna do here is go to Layer, New, Solid. And we can just call it Overlay. And we come here, change the color to whatever color you want. Now I'm gonna do blue, click OK, and move on here. So what I'm gonna do here is we have blend modes and you can of course experiment with this, but what I like to do is hit T on my keyboard for opacity and just lower the opacity of this background here. This way we can blend graphics on this just fine and you can easily control the opacity. I like around 60 ish percent and then we'll just hit P on my keyboard for position. We'll add a keyframe by clicking the stopwatch and we'll move this forward in time by almost this half a second and we'll just have this come straight into our image just like this. Make them both easy ease keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. So now we just have the solid coming here to break things up. So what I like to do here is create some accent graphics. So what we can do here is grab say the pen tool, click on the word fill and set it to none and click on the word stroke and we can set it to uh, solid color. And we'll come in here, just click a point, hold down shift on keyboard and add another point. So we have the straight line going across here. We're going to increase the stroke width just by a touch here and boom, we have a straight line here like this. So what we're gonna do is open up our shape layer, go to add and we're gonna add a trim paths. We can over trim pass one and we'll come to the beginning of our timeline and we'll set the end percentage down to zero percent add a keyframe for it we'll move forward here to about half a second we'll add it all the way to 100 percent for end we'll move back to the beginning of our timeline and we'll go just a few frames like five seconds add a keyframe for start we'll move forward past the last end keyframe and set the start to 100 percent so now if you do this correctly you should just have a line that does this and of course, if you need to just stretch out the start keyframes to make this line a little bit longer, go, longer, go ahead and do that. So now we just have a line that does this right across. And if you want, you can change the color of this to whatever color you want. I'm gonna keep this one at white for now. And what I could do here is grab our shape one and I could duplicate it. What I could do is just drag this around here. And we of course just hit U on keyboard to bring up the keyframes and I can just offset this in time by a little bit. And you know, change the size if I want to. And I can quickly just come here with our shapes and duplicate them. If I want, I go here to stroke at the top and change the color of it. And you can do purple, whatever color you want. And now we could have a bunch of variated lines and we duplicate this and just add a lot of elements in here. So now we have a series of lines that are animated in here. If you need extra help with this type of motion graphics, check our latest video where we talked about four types of motion graphic techniques that allow you to create these sort of motion graphics. So you have a variety of tools in your arsenal. Go ahead and check the link in the video description if you want to learn how to create more accent motion graphics like this. And also, if you want to save time, go ahead and check out Toko, which has 750 motion graphic elements. And I can come in here and grab, say, shape lines. I can just preview a bunch of just accent, you know, motion graphics here. I can add these lines as well, click it, and it automatically adds it into After Effects. And I can change the colors and do what I need to do. And here's where we're at with our motion graphic design. So now that we have some separation in our background, we are prepared for titles. And what I like to do is not go over the top crazy, but I like to create titles in a very nice, efficient manner where you can read them. Let's go ahead and take a look at creating some awesome titles. All right, next up on our list is to obviously add titles because we need to display some information. So we'll grab the title tool and we'll type out our titles. So I quickly created just two titles here and they're black because I'm gonna go ahead and create more of a design with this because you know I'm going for a motion graphic design here. So what we're gonna do is grab the rectangle tool and make sure the fill is turned on and we'll turn off the stroke. And we're gonna make sure that the fill color is white. And we're simply gonna draw out a rectangle, you know, like this nice and small. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna control click our first title if you have one or two titles, doesn't matter. We'll go to window align and we can center this up. Make sure that the shape layer is underneath our title there. And that's fine if you need to resize anything, uh, go ahead and do that. Animate our shape layer here. So we're gonna open up our shape layer one, go into rectangle one, go to the beginning of our timeline, of course, go to rectangle path one. We'll break the change for size and we'll add a keyframe for size and position. We can move both these keyframes forward in time by almost a second. We'll come here to the X size and we'll set it down to zero. And now we come here to the X position 
you can see that there's a straight line on our composition we can just move this over to the beginning you know just to the left here so now we'll get this animation where it just comes straight out from the left to right and of course let's make all these keyframes easy easy keyframes by hitting f9 on our keyboard so let's go ahead and frame everything in the middle of our composition if we can and then let's go to our shape layer one go to edit duplicate and let's put this layer underneath our next subtitle if you have to i'm going to just quickly organize this so now we have this in here and what i want to do here is animate our titles so what we can do is go to our first title open this up go to animate and we can add say a position we'll come here to the y position and we'll bring this down and then we'll open up range selector one add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward here maybe by a second set it to 100 percent and now you're gonna have this title coming up just like that. And then of course I make both these keyframes easy, easy keyframes, and I would select range selector one and shift click position, copy that, go to the beginning of your timeline and paste it to your second title if that's what you're gonna do. So we have that animation in there, no problem. And what I wanna do here is grab shape layer one and shape layer two, duplicate them. And then from here, what I wanna do is bring the titles in between each of the shape layers like this. It's like, so you have shape layer four, your title, and then you have both your shape layers there. And then what I'm going to do here is for our titles, go to track mat. If you don't see the track mat, toggle switch to the modes until you see it. Set the track mat to say alpha mat and do it for your other title if you have two titles. So now if you did this correctly, you can see that the titles only stick together with the solid. So of course you can offset these if you need to do that as well. If you need more help with titles, go ahead and check our last video where we give away five techniques for title animations. So now we have our title and background composited very well together, but now let's talk about creating a little bit more of a style. We're going to talk about juxtapositioning and perhaps a little bit of third party elements. Okay, so now we're on step three and this is where the fun begins. So I would of course make sure motion blur is turned on for everything before we move on here. And then I would grab all your layers and we'll go to layer pre-compose and we can call it slide one, click okay. So now there's a couple things I want to do here. I want to create a little bit of you know juxtaposition here so what we'll do here is we'll create a new composition and we can call it map and we'll come here grab the rectangle tool make sure fills turned on and the stroke is turned off and we're going to just zoom out here and draw out big like rectangles like this so you see it, how this is covering up half the composition then we'll move forward by just you know four to five frames and go to edit split layer Rem remember the hotkey and delete the layer then i'll create another variant like this and i'll trim the endpoint I'll move forward by a few frames, split it and delete it. And I can come here, draw like a large position, like a square like this, same thing, bring in the endpoint, move forward by a few frames, split, delete, and we can just do like one more. So I went ahead and continued the animation a little bit with some gaps in between. So, you know, it's not gonna always be glitching like this, but this is our map. So I'll go back into our main composition and we're gonna bring in our new composition called map from our project window and you should have your squares in there no problem and your shape should be in here kind of just popping up like this randomly so we'll turn off the map layer we'll go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll go to effect distort and we're going to grab displacement map where it says displacement map layer set it to map and now you should have a little bit of distortion you can probably barely see it so we'll go here to the max horizontal displacement and we'll increase this to maybe like 40 or so doesn't really matter you experiment with it and now you can kind of see the juxtaposition of everything here i like to set the vertical down to zero and maybe in some situations you might see some actual like black bordering going on here because you're moving the image too much what you can do to fix that go to effect stylize and grab cc re repeat tile bring this effect above displacement map and then you can expand right left you know up and down depending on what you need to fix go to tiling and click on uh, checker flip H and that automatically covers it up so before and after boom it just repeats the pixels so now you have something very similar to this and it looks you know really nice so one other sort of stylistic element I like to add is a film burn you're gonna have to search this up on your own you can usually find them for free just type in film burn free and you're gonna find asset packs like this and what I like to do with this is go into our main composition and bring that film burn, you know, right above some of our elements underneath our titles so we can read our titles. And I'm going to toggle switch the modes until I see the blend mode and set the mode to overlay. So now we have a lot of style on our promo and it looks amazing right now. 
And for our fourth and final technique, we're gonna talk about transitions. I've created a handful of tutorials on transitions, so you can check out links in the video description. But we're gonna be using a very quick plugin for After Effects that's gonna help save so much time you can create amazing transitions between your slides. Obviously, there's so many different ways to create transitions and to save time, all I'm gonna say is go check out my three popular transitions video where I talk about creating really popular transitions in that and also have a handful of other transitions videos. Now, if you really want to save time with this, I highly suggest checking out the handy seamless transitions pack for After Effects, which I have installed right here on the right, which has 1500 transitions that are pre-made and you can just click on them and it'll add them into any After Effects project. So for example, I can say preview this sort of transition here out of one of the 1500, click on it and it'll automatically add that transition at the cut. You can see that transition's right here. So I'll go ahead and preview that really quick. And literally just within a second, we apply this transition and it takes us to the next slide and it looks really good. So if you wanna learn more about this, go ahead and check our links in the video description. We also did a full review on this last week. So go ahead and check that out as well, links in the description. So that wraps up our four motion graphic promo tips for After Effects. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned a few things. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We post two post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. Also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are in the video description and always be creating.